I'm so sorry. Oh, you. Hey guys, it's Raka here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me in this week's video. I am so excited and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining and welcome to you. Thank you for clicking that subscribe button and of course the like down below and leave a comment for me if you would like to know more about this makeup look. So let's get on to this video. I would consider this makeup look like just everyday vibes. It's natural, you know? I use this makeup look personally when I'm going to work or if I'm going to a very formal occasion where I don't really need to be wearing like pink eyeshadow. I do like dabbling in color but mostly I like to go for a very strong smoky eye or um, just a winged liner but more recently I've gone into this like winged liner look. I've learned so much just in the short time of doing a makeup course and I found out that your makeup style is all about who you are and what you want to look like. Makeup is a tool for us and it doesn't matter how you use these tools, they're all just made to be used on your face. Before I get into this makeup look, I just wanted to say that I am definitely a little bit more schooled on foundation and makeup is in general and one thing that I've learned about makeup is that everyone has their own style and when it comes to style it doesn't have to be specifically um, super full coverage and like perfectionist kind of vibes with like the super perfect cat eye or whatever the pick case is. Um, I find that minimal coverage very much helps with breakouts and all of the other stuff that comes along with wearing makeup every day. Let's get into the makeup routine. I have so many fun products here for you guys. I'm so excited to use them. All right, first we're going in with the foundation over my prepped skin. I love this Dior Forever foundation. It's a full coverage water-based foundation and I use it with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender to apply it and it saves me so much time. Now I'm gonna go in with this True Match foundation powder around my eyes just to give me that um, cut crease look and it also really irritates my eyes when I put liquid foundation there. So this is like my next option. Now I'm gonna go in with my with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Wow, May, where am I going here? Anyways, I like to do it on my under eyes, chin, and forehead, and I really like pouncing the makeup into the skin. So just remember your time limit when doing this and blending this out because you do want to give yourself a nice, even look, and the only way to do this is by blending your makeup properly. Now I'm gonna go in and just finish up the look with a little bit more of concealer and I just put it over my acne scars and marks and then again I really press it into the skin because I don't like that creasing that it makes around the nose or just under the eyes I try and really apply the makeup um, more into those areas to get it looking very even now when I'm done with that I'm finally gonna go into um, one of the things I absolutely hate guys before I started I love everything else about makeup, but I don't have brows, so it makes it so hard for me to draw decent eyebrows with the style that actually suits me, and it's just a mess. But anyways, I'm gonna go in with this Allure Brow Palette, and I like to use the brush with this one because it's a quicker application time in my opinion. I am going to do the finishing touches until I'm happy. So what that means is I basically just try my best not to do too much pigmentation, because I don't like how black eyebrows look. I would say it's more of an evening look for me, the black eyebrow look. So that's why I like using this brown Allure palette. It's very easy to apply the hair like strokes. You can just do it with you know, the brush in a um, diagonal line and just kind of stroke them up in that order. But otherwise, just try to do different directions to get the perfect look. And when I'm done with that, I just like to use um, a spoolie brush or just my fingers to just swipe up over the brow and just start removing that excess product or that excess product. I'm not sure which one it is. Anyways, when I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Concealer. And I just like to conceal under my eyes and give me that very shaped, snatched look, but not too much, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a natural makeup tutorial. And I'm going to go in with my MAC brush just to even out that contour that I did with the crease and to like even everything out basically. Now when I'm done with that, I go in with the Revolution Beauty Contour Sticks. Okay, I it's actually a foundation stick, but I use it to contour and I absolutely love this foundation. It is this golden yellowy tone to it and it's 
fabulous. Everyone's loving this foundation in South Africa right now. So, of course, I decided to cave in and get myself one. And the reason why I like using foundation to contour, it's because at the end of the day, I am using a little bit of foundation with the Dior. Um, and I'm using the shade 50 on that. So, with this F19 shade, I like to go in the crease and I like to go and just contour everything around my face. And it gives this beautiful color match, um, if you know what I mean. Like, it just goes together. Now, when I'm done with that, I like to use the true match foundation again just to contour my nose because everybody knows my nose everybody knows my nose and needs contouring wow okay rhyming over here now i'm gonna go in with my mac fix plus proud powder Every girl has this powder and the reason why I like using it, it's just blends and melts all the makeup together, mixes it all together in my opinion. I mean, probably isn't doing it, but for a natural makeup look, I'm trying my best to keep it light, but still make sure there's oil control, you know, being done. And because I've used just liquid foundations, this is the perfect powder foundation to just layer over that. Now I like to just put a little bit, I like putting a little bit just around my eyes as well. And then when I'm done with that, I go in with my translucent powder from MAC. Again, it's the Prep and Prime. You can use it before or after, but I like using it after. I'll try using, I'll try using it before, maybe I'll see if it looks different, but for now it's perfect. I go in with my MAC palette while that sets, and I just use that brown color and that gold shimmer color. Um, in this palette, it is so neutral, so you honestly can go in with any color from this palette. I highly re recommend you get this palette if you are a natural makeup artist or if you just want your makeup to look very natural and you have just all the neutrals available for you on this palette. Now when I'm done with that, I go in with my Raisin Blush. I love doing it just on the sides of my cheek. Um, I don't really like doing it on apples on my cheek for some reason. I think it looks very youthful. So I'm trying to avoid that. I want to look more um, glowy and beautiful. So I just like doing it on, you know, the sides. Now when I'm done with that, I sweep off all the translucent powder from my face. Um, I try to do it as much as I possibly can because I do not want to see harsh lines on my face. Now I go in with the eyeliner. This is the Essence eyeliner pen. I used to do everybody's eyeliner that I knew. Like I would literally bust out the same ratchet pencil and I had one just like this, but it was actually a pencil. And that's how I kind of practiced doing eyeliner. I'm not a professional at all, but I definitely um, just like the style that I'm currently doing now. So when I'm done with that, I go in with my MAC mascara and this is a beautiful black mascara it literally helps my little lashes just you know be a little bit more out there be a bit more confident and stand up loud and proud okay and when i'm done with that i like to go in with my lip liner i use this teddy it's a shade teddy this lip pencil and it's this beautiful brown it's kind of 90s vibes and it makes so well with this lipstick that is also teddy and i just put this in the center of my lips and then mix it together very quickly i don't really use a brush because a, a brush i don't really use a brush because it's too time consuming to try and um do all of that extra work so now when i'm done with that i'm going to go in with my dior lip gloss and i just give myself a little bit of a shimmer shine in the center of my lips and that is the makeup look done it is super natural and gorgeous and very lively i feel like i'm awake and i can take over the world i hope you guys enjoyed watching this foundation routine so this is at the end of makeup look i believe that the coverage because i use two dots of makeup um I feel like it's more light coverage and I'm not covering any of my spots or imperfections. I'm just kind of um, evening out the skin tone in general and then of course adding a little bit of color and fun. So you can put all of these products into a small, I would say small, okay, into a small makeup bag and still have a little bit of room for a perfume if you want to carry one with if you are traveling. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'm so excited to bring back the vlogs 
and the videos for you guys. I missed you so much in these three weeks that I was gone, but I'm back to stay and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like down below and please subscribe and press that notification bell like long. And of course, I'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a fabulous week. Bye.